Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil and in this Angular video tutorial we are going to learn that how we can add bootstrap in Angular 10. Please keep in mind if you have the lower version than Angular 9 then this video will not going to work for you. You have to watch my previous video link is given in the description box. The way that I am just going to use to bootstrap is work only 9 and plus version. Right? And why I am just going to use this specific way because now Angular provide a single command line way to add the bootstrap. You just have to put the one command and uh, it will add the bootstrap in whichever Angular project. So now first of all let's check out the points of the video. First of all we have to run that command and after that uh, I will show you that uh, uh, how much changes is we, it will just do in your project it will just change five or six file and I will show you that where it will just uh, making the changes in your code right then uh, we will try some bootstrap example and we will get the code from the official website of uh, the ng bootstrap because if we are just going to put the manual examples for the bootstrap it will take the lots of time that's why I will use the code from the official website right so now let's just uh, uh, run that command that will add the bootstrap so just simply write here ng add at the rate ng hyphen bootstrap then um, slash ng hyphen bootstrap again and let's hit it now you can see that uh, it will just telling me that package is already installed because before just making this video I am just trying with it right but if you did not have installed it uh, it will just install it completely and if you have already installed it then it will just try to updates put the updates in your uh, project perfect so now let's you can see that it make the changes in five files so let's check out this file first of all it will just add the bootstrap css in your angular.json file here you can see that right then uh, after that it will make the changes in the package.json and obviously if there is a change in package.json then it will make the change of package.log.json also because package.log.json is totally depend on package.json file then uh, it will add uh, one import in the polyfill files right here you can see that and uh, after that it will just import our ng module in our main module which is app.module.ts and register this in the imports right so now let's uh, try to use some examples so i am just going to visit the official website of angular bootstrap which is uh, ng uh, bootstrap.github.io right and you can see that there is only uh, provide the same command that we have used here but when you just click on the get started now it will tell that if you have uh, the angular uh, greater than or uh, 9 version then it command will gonna work otherwise you have to do the some other ways right so now let's check out some examples so i'm just going to use this alert right so that uh, let's go on a code and here you will find the code so just copy it from here and paste it in your html page so just go on the app.company.html and paste it right and let's visit it now now you can see that okay sometime when you just uh, install angular it's directly not working sometimes you just have to restart it right so just restart your ng server yeah now you can see that this is uh, restarted and uh, you can see the effect here great all right so let's say just use some more example mm, you just want to uh, check some event also like this right and this then how we can do that so again we have to just copy this code here and paste it inside the same way now with that you also had now you have to add some code in the ts file also so just copy this you don't need interface for a moment but if you just want you can just copy it so 
just copy it and paste it inside the app.component.ts file keep in mind that this code should be present uh, just upward to the at the rate component which is the directive and uh, after that let's copy this code like in the class side also right so just put it inside the exported class and now let's come here and just reload it now you can see that we got the old cases here i will show you that how it's code working but first of all let's check out the functionality right everything is working great so how it's working first of all they have an array and uh, use this array inside the alert right so if you want then uh, you can just remove this array also uh, this uh, interface also right for a moment we don't need interface but uh, in the upcoming video i will tell you this what is the interface and all but see, this is mainly the part of the typescript right so uh, great now what is actually it's working with this array it will just uh, use this uh, ng4 and make some different different kind of uh, alerts here right and then there is we have the two functions one is the close function and close function is working from here right and this is just hitting from here and after that when just close all of these then what actually is, what actually going to work then reset going to work reset will uh, reset this array and it will just show all the uh, alerts again right let's check out again like this so this is all about how we can add the bootstrap and we can also check some examples if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video